doing people random here so uh, a couple more Ted Park locks he sent me these two this one I don't know what brand it is I do have keys here somewhere okay, there it does work I thought it worked there we are it does work and then he sent me this little guard uh, which is a decent little heavy laminated lock so which one are we going to start on? Let's start on the guard. Okay, shouldn't be all that bad. I can get my hand on this darn thing. I'm sure my tension wrench is longer than the key is. So on this one, um, I'll just probably just start at the first binder, which is the front. One, two, three, four. So, not too bad. Uh, I was wrong with this one. I thought this guard would have security pins. All the other guards have had uh, have them, and this one does not. So, simple little uh, luggage lock. Uh, nobody's going to bust that open, especially on an airplane. They don't have time for that. But, uh, no, decent. Thank you very much, Ted. And then we have this one which uh, I'm not even going to pick it because I'm pretty sure that I can use the knife. If I can get it in here right, most of these, oh there we go, that was easy enough. Um, most of these dollar store ones are pickable with a knife so I can get it open that way probably quicker than I can pick it. Just for prosperity. One, two, three. You should be open. Apparently, I can knife it open quicker than I can pick it. There we are. Yeah. So there's two dollar store locks. Uh, you know what I might do actually is maybe we should take this out to the shop and I will cut this casing off and we'll see if we can torch it out. Let's do that. So we're in the shop. I got this uh, cheap old padlock, uh, dollar store padlock in the vise and uh, we're gonna use the green benzo tank which is um, propylene, which burns about uh, 2,000 degrees Celsius, and brass burns around 2,100. So we're going to see if we can cause some damage. See how much it takes to... Uh, there we go. Too little dude. leaking out of it and it's melting. Uh, I don't know whether that is the pins or the core.
off before we blow the place down. Let's see what happens when we whack with the hammer now. Well, we're leaking some shit out of here. I don't want to grab that. Let's get a pair of gloves. And, uh, stinks like fuck. Whew. Pardon my language. And the core is gone completely. There's nothing left. Pretty sure you can see that in there. And uh, let me grab uh, something a little more pryable. Uh, let's see how we're going to do this. See if we can pop this open. There we go. And that's done with uh, very little heat, very portable heat. Uh, because really, you're not going to go out in the middle of the woods and drag this puppy with you. See if I can get my oxy sunbeam torch out here. There we go. Yeah, you're not going to carry this bugger out with you in the woods. So with the nap tank, it's a lot smaller, it's a lot portable. I'm losing everything tonight. Uh, it's a lot smaller, a lot portable. You can carry this sucker in your backpack. You can melt this. Or really, you could pick it. Uh, but if you couldn't pick it, and you didn't want to cut it, and you're just a straight out criminal, carry one of these things and this sucker would leak right open. That's crazy. I don't even know what it's made of. I'm going to guess pewter. Uh, because it did look brass, but it just didn't feel like brass. It didn't have the same texture. But anyways, take care. Thanks for watching my vids. And uh, thank you, Ted, for letting me destroy another one of your locks. Sorry, man, but it's just way too much fun. Uh, take care and support your local locksmith.